Welcome to this series about evening gowns. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about pink and purple evening gowns that were worn over the past five years at the Miss Universe competition that are my personal top 10 favorites. Hi, my name is Danny. welcome to the channel. If you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe, share the channel with friends, and hit the notifications. Now let's get started. In 2019, Brazil wore this one shoulder gown. It was very, very simple. Honestly, there was so much hype around her when she competed at Miss Universe that I really thought we were gonna see a very different gown for prelims and for finals. And I think that this gown was actually too simple for prelims, but it is still a beautiful pink gown. It was really well constructed and it's kind of similar to another gown that I'm gonna mention shortly. In 2020, Singapore wore a gown that People loved it or they hated it, just like the pink ball gown that Olivia Jordan wore when she won Miss USA. Now, I happen to love this gown, especially for her, because of her hairstyle. So the gown had a lot of harsh, geometrical type shapes and designs, and it really made sense with her hair. It just felt cohesive for me. I will say this though, I think that the proportions of this gown were off on her. I think it would have looked a lot different on a taller contestant. So because of that, they really needed to shorten the proportions so we got to see a little bit more neck, a little bit more face. I think she was smart to do a side pose at the end though. She did what she could, but there could have been adjustments made to improve this. In 2018, Kyrgyzstan wore a gorgeous couture ball gown. I know that this style is not for everyone. Let's just start there. And I do think that personally, I would have wore this style without the necklace. Also, the dress was too long for her. She was carrying it. But if this gown was on loan, then she probably couldn't alter it. So a couple, couple issues that you could come across there. But just looking at the gown, it's couture, it's fun, it has feathers. Some of you have noticed that I like feathers, I do. I just think that they create really soft, delicate movement on stage and it draws your eye to the gown to the contestant. So this was just spectacular. And there was a lot going on here, so I, I really was glad that she wore her hair in a bun for this. If you stumbled upon the channel because you're a pageant contestant looking to win your next title, then check out my free pageant prep crash course in the description. In 2021, one of my favorite pre-arrival preliminary pick contestants wore a really soft, light pink gown to prelims, and this is Bolivia. This performance was great, and I feel like we can't even appreciate this gown, though, as we should, because I don't think it translated so well on camera. When I saw pictures and images of this gown backstage and up close, I already liked it, first of all, for prelims. But then when I saw the up close shots, I was like, oh man, that looked so different. It looked so different and so much better than it came across on stage. So even though I don't feel like this clip is doing this gown justice, it's still one of my favorite pink gowns. And it, it was, so beautiful on her. I can understand, gosh, why she made this choice. And then when you watch it back, you're like, ooh, that didn't look quite how I thought it would. That stuff happens. Make sure to tell me in the comments who wore your favorite pink or purple gown at Miss Universe. In 2019, oh, Barbados, she wore this hot pink gown and oh my gosh, did she look incredible in it. This is a silhouette that we have seen before. We've seen it done over and over, but this color on her skin tone, it worked, it popped. The earrings were great. The slit kept it sexy. The chiffon piece gave it just a little bit more, a little bit more on stage, because just imagine this gown without that chiffon piece. It would have been a little bit more plain. Granted, I think we probably could have changed up the neckline a little bit. I'd done something slightly different to it, but the gown, the styling, the performance of it, she carried it so well. It's definitely one of my favorites. In 2017, Indonesia wore a bright pink chiffon evening gown. Oh, gorgeous. I can still remember images that they released of this gown prior to the competition. It's a very simple style, but there are not that many pink gowns that are worn to Miss Universe. So we have a limited selection here in case 
any of my choices surprise you in this one. There's not a lot of contestants that wear pink or purple to Miss Universe because a lot of people think that it's a really youthful color. I'm personally still a fan. I think that beautiful gowns exist in a wide variety of colors. So I really, really loved this gown. It was simple in style, but I think that the styling that they went with for her hair and her jewelry made the gown make a lot more sense. It elevated it, it raised the age, I would say, so she didn't look like a teen contestant. And the color, the color popped on stage, it was vibrant, it flowed, it had all this lovely movement in it. Oh my gosh, a little bit of sparkle on it. It was, it was lovely. In 2020, Czech Republic wore just wow, blew my mind with this piece. And I'm not even sure exactly what color it is. I'm putting it in the purple category. Maybe I'm colorblind. What a spectacular piece though. The fact that this gown had gloves built into the sleeves, the off the shoulder, it was very couture. I'm so happy that she had simple styling for this. I feel like if she would have wore her hair down and had the big pageant curls, it just, it would have been a lot. It would have been a lot, but that, oh my gosh, she nailed this. She nailed this. They need to continue with this vibe moving forward. They need this quality of gown to get back to placing at Miss Universe. In 2021, Miss Universe ended up selecting a pink evening gown for the preliminary competition. What a really interesting choice this one was. And it was done in kind of an unexpected way. This is a pink sheer mesh that had sequins and stoning and beads and all that stuff on top of it. So it was a very, very subtle pink. It took me a moment to, to really look at and be like, wait, is that actually pink? Is it the lighting? I wasn't sure at first, but it is a really beautiful gown. And I, I was happy to see her in it. Was I happier though for her finals gown? Yes. I do think that she made the right choice for finals in her silver evening gown. But nonetheless, this episode is about pink gowns. So check this one out. Lovely gown on stage. In 2021, Puerto Rico wore purple. Purple, very unusual at Miss Universe. But this gown looked really, really beautiful on her. I will say that this style is quite trendy right now. These puff sleeves, we're seeing a lot of that stuff in fashion. It's taken a while, the trend has been developing, but it's kind of taken a while to get there and it, it, it's there, it's the moment. So it is like a very of the moment gown, but when we look back at puff sleeves though, we did that in the 80s, right? So I just feel like it's this cool reemergence. I feel potentially it could be a timeless type of gown, but it was just really, really beautiful on her with her hair, her skin, the just the sequence of the gowns. It made a lot, it made a lot of sense for Miss Universe. And so that's why it's in this list. My number one gown may surprise you. And as I mentioned earlier, there aren't very many pink and purple gowns to choose from at Miss Universe. So I'm just putting it in this category in this episode. In 2020, Canada wore a gown that was ombre. And this is something that I didn't even realize until after the competition when I saw videos and up close pictures of it. The gown starts off as silver and then it transitions into a pink bottom with these delicate feathers all over this. This gown was also used for Miss Colombia, I wanna say, and it was worn by Miss Cartagena, who was one of my favorite contestants. And that would have either been in the 2020, yeah, I believe that would have been 2020 or possibly 2019. This gown was used before, but this version of it was so beautiful. And I'm putting it in my pink gowns because I was obsessed with this. The waterfall beading down the back, just oh, what a Miss Universe quality gown this was. It really, really was. And it, I'm like, this is why people come to the show, right? To see things like this on stage. So it was my personal favorite. Now, if you love evening gowns, don't worry. It's not over yet. I have an episode for you that I think you'd love to see. And that's all about my top 10 favorite green evening gowns that were used the past five years at Miss Universe. So don't forget to check that one out. You're not gonna wanna miss it.